Hi, this is Josh, and today I want to make a review on uh, The Dead, a, a short story written by James Joyce in 1914. Now, I love this book. <laughs> well, okay, I don't love it. I very much like this book. It's very interesting to me. Uh, written by James Joyce in 1914, it is naturally a very good time capsule of that area era time especially for a year as important as 1914 um so the book is about a tall young gentleman named uh, gabriel i keep almost calling him daniel for some reason uh gabriel is going to this ball event it, it it's not the fanciest thing in the world but it is an event where dancing and singing takes place uh da gabriel uh dances he, he's very highly regarded by his two aunts aunt kate and aunt julia um and they think of him as very responsible and mature and therefore he they put him um responsible for quite a lot of the events taking place in at the ball uh such as you know finding singers um i think and while at the ball uh gabriel finds uh he dances with this woman called greta and he has a lot of strong feelings for her. he he really likes this woman right um should I start being more, like, less impolite in this review? I feel like this should be more professional. I don't know. Um, so, he's dancing with Greta. And she whispers into his ear in a very jokingly fashion, West Britain. Um, see, Gabriel is originally Irish. But he hates his... Uh, his origins, he hates his, I forgot the word, um, he hates Ireland, basically, he hates the fact that he comes from Ireland, um, and from what I understand, now, since the book was written in 1914, there are a lot of phrases that I don't exactly understand, because, you know, dialect has evolved, in the past 106 years. So, like, what are galoshes? Gabriel takes off his galoshes at the start of the book and has a conversation about galoshes to Aunt Julia. What are galoshes? Are they wellies? Do you, are they, like, those rubber boots that you wear in the mud? They couldn't have been rubber. It was 1940. Did they have rubber in 1914? I don't think so. Leather boots that you wear in the mud at the time? I have no idea. Because then, I thought they were boots, but then they were described as something you put on boots. What are galoshes? I don't know. But that that's an example. There are a lot of things like that in this book that I don't understand. Like West Britain. Um, I originally thought that this just meant he comes from the West. I don't know where Britain came from because he's Irish. But um, through deduction, I believe West Britain is a sort of ideology that they have in Ireland at the time. I'm not sure. That might be wrong. But that's what I believe it is. It, it, seem, it, it is hinting towards that it is an ideology that was quite popular in Ireland in 1914. So that's what I'm going to assume that it is. Um, now, Gabriel takes great offense to him call, to her calling him a West Briton, even if it was jokingly, leaning into his ear and going, West Briton. He still takes great offense to it, not just that she called him a Great Britain, Great Britain, a West Briton, but also that she did it in front of so many people that he knows even if it was quiet 
but he is self-conscious, I guess. Um, and he he just has to come to he he's angry for for a while, but he needs to come to terms with the <laughs> with the fact that she wasn't meaning to insult him. Um, later on that night, they're lying in bed and uh, she is incredibly sad. And Gabriel asks her what's wrong. And she tells him the story of her ex-lover, whose name I forget. Because I am so bad at remembering names. I can't remember names at all. I could barely remember Gabriel's name. Because I keep almost calling him Daniel. Where does Daniel come from? I don't know. But I keep almost calling him Daniel by mistake. So... I don't remember her ex-lover's name, but I'm just going to call him Thurton because I think his name is similar to Thurton. So Thurton um, is is her ex-lover and he actually died uh, being in love with Greta. Uh, He died waiting for her outside of her window. Um... And she obviously loved him as well. He loved her. And she was really feeling it that night about Thurton. Um, and she she put it all on Gabriel, right? Because like he said, what's wrong? And she had to talk about it with someone. So she told Gabriel about it. And then Gabriel couldn't sleep while Greta fell to sleep. And that's about where it ends. Now, what comes analysis? Um, sorry. I really like this book. If I had to give this book a rating, it would be like an 8 out of 10. Um, again, it was written in 1914. As I stated before, there are a lot of really outdated terms that I do not understand. But, and again, it is a very good time capsule for that era. That's a bubble blow. Um, well, yeah, um, there's not that many pros and cons for me about this story. Anyway, uh, there might be a lot that I'm just not seeing because I'm usually like that with any story. I can almost never point out the cons in stories. It's a, it's a fault of myself, but uh, from what I can see, again, it's quite hard to understand, but it's very well written. James Joyce is a very talented writer. Obviously, that's why they're famous. Um, the characters are likable, mostly. Uh, the characters are well written. They're funny, actually, at times. Not much, but at times, it's quite funny. Um, now... I looked into the story a little bit, and I think, uh, actually, no, I don't think there is a quote directly related to what I think, proving what I think. So I know that Gabriel, being a man in 1914, wants to control Greta. Uh, He wants to be able to be her master in a way, and that is shown in the quote, he longed to be master of her strange mood. Now, of course, this probably was actually not. This was uh, normal for that time, uh, being the earlier earlier twenty first century. Men were the patriarch in a relationship, so of course he wanted to control her. Now, her calling him a West Briton in front of all those people and embarrassing him and insulting him like that, even if she didn't mean to, um, he started to get worried that he can't control her that she will continue to uh, insult him and aggravate him when he doesn't want that to happen, that she'll continue to do things that he does not want. Um, and he's very worried about this. He's scared that this is gonna just going to be how it is in their relationship. And that night when he finds out about Thurden, he realizes that Thurden lived a full life 
despite the dying so young, even for the time, Thurden loved Greta. Like, Gabriel, like, he's very attracted to her. Um, but he, what Gabriel wants to do, he wants to control her. He doesn't, he less so wants Greta and more so wants a relationship because it was a norm at the time. Um, so he doesn't necessarily love Greta, not with all his heart anyway, but Thurden very obviously did love her with all his heart. Um, and knowing that Thurden, someone like Thurden, loved someone so much that they ended up dying waiting for them outside their window proves to Gabriel that he, Thurden lived a fuller life than Gabriel ever will if he continues being the way he is. Um, and that's that's a very good message, uh, especially for 1914, which is also a very good movie. Um, but it is a very good message for the story. It, it ends the story on a drab, but a drab note but also one with a good message once you look into it. Uh, as a final statement, again, 8 out of 10. I like it. I would read it again if I, if I could um, at some point. Well, I mean, I can. But I won't be opposed to rereading it. Uh, James Joyce is a really good writer. I've never uh, seen any of their works before this. This is my introduction to James Joyce. And it is quite a good introduction. So, yeah. The Dead by James Joyce. 8 out of 10. Good book. We'll read it again.